Hello, hello, hello. You are tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's second topic The Ravens are in a world of hurt. Look, y'all can even see I'm a little mad. My voice is even kind of hoarse. But context is something that I always like to hang my hat on. Always. And context is needed for this loss for the Ravens. Because a lot of people don't realize that the Colts have always played us well. Really well. And <clears throat> something was funny. Because I don't even watch him. He's blocked me. But Jamison Hensley, because somebody put it in the timeline in my friend group, put it out that the Ravens entered Sunday's game without seven injured starters. Okay. Remember, seven starters already did not play in this game. Baltimore left with a 22 to 19 loss and added five more injured players. Gus Edwards, concussion. Rashad Bateman, hamstring. Tylen Wallace, hamstring. David Ajabo, ankle. Geno Stone, ribs. Let me tell you something right now. The injuries hurt. Oh. And it doesn't look like they are slowing down this, this season so far. It looks like, and I want to knock on wood, the 2021 season when we had 30 people on IR. That's exactly what this looks like. This, it's looking like it's shaping up to that. How many starters are we? can we actually play with and not win? This is why, and I know this is going to rub some haters the wrong way. This is why my respect for Lamar always goes through the roof. Because he's always doing it shorthanded. I have a, a guy on here I really like. I really respect him. He's, he goes by Skeptigo. I just call him Skep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my guy. And he put out this. So if, Skep, if you're watching this, shout out to you, bro. I'm going to read what he put out. He said, we played without our two best corners, our best safety, three of our outside linebackers, one of our vet wide receivers, two of our best O-linemen, Two of our best running backs, even two of our best special teamers, and people thought that we should have boat raced this team. Oh. Bro, something is wrong. The Ravens, this injury thing has to get fixed sooner than later. And not all of it I would blame on the Ravens because some of it's just freak injuries. You know what I mean? But after a while, something has to get done. It has to be said. This is, this is, bro. We're going into, like, we have no more outside linebackers. None. Tyus Bowser, injured. Ajabo, injured. Uh, uh, Owe, injured. Like, after, how much more? We can't deal with no more injuries. Now you guys see why I was so against getting rid of Justin Houston. Now y'all see why I was so um, against getting rid of uh, um, Calais Campbell. Now y'all understand. Because those two would be absolutely wonderful right now, wouldn't they? And now, what are we going to do? We're going to run Clowney into the ground. We have no other choice. There's nobody else. I, you know, after a while, it gets to a point to where I was talking to some Raven fans. And they were like, this is it's just normality now. We're injured every year. We think we could, we think we could, you know, take on the world. And the funny thing is, we always are competitive against the best of the best. But we're never at our best. That's a bar. Regardless of circumstances, we always are competitive against the very best. But we're always playing the best, not at our best. I want to put this into perspective for some people. Lamar Jackson threw for 200 and something yards passing. 72% completion. 72. No interceptions. And he rushed for 100 and something yards for two touchdowns. He was literally and figuratively 
our entire offense today. And he was doing that with all the things I just read off of and the O-line literally collapsing after the first two Ravens drives. And we still expect him to be flawless. We expect him to make it work. We expect him to be the difference maker regardless of who we're missing and who we don't have. And that's crazy, even though even I expect greatness from him. It's like, bro, there's going to be mistakes, though. You see, a lesser quarterback, we, we would probably got blown out. See, but y'all don't want to talk about that. The Ravens having Lamar is the ultimate equalizer because he does so much. Right now, we don't have three of our, our, our starting running backs. Gus is down. JK's out for the season, and Hill is out. That's our three top running backs. Oh, and the backup guy that we bought for them, Keaton, is out. Bruh. Our entire running back room is decimated. We have two healthy running backs right now on the roster and practice squad. That's crazy. <laughs> but that's the Ravens. I don't know if somebody killed a sacred fish and put bad juju on this team. I don't know if somebody dabbled in witchcraft and somehow got a 10,000-year-old curse placed on us, but this it, 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 something is up. I've never seen a team be this injured so consistently like we have. They said the, one, the couple things that you're promised that are guaranteed in life are taxes, death, me, for me, staying black and seeing the Ravens immensely injured year in and year out. It's an it's a absolute. There are very few absolutes in this world. Very few. Like, absolutes. Like, you can't argue it from either side. Like, yo, rock is hard. It's an absolute. Tell me about, well, compared to what? No. Is a rock a hard, subs a hard a substance? Yes. I don't know what we're going to do, man. I'm just, I'm going to need to sleep on this. I got work tomorrow. It's going to bite going into Monday morning like this. Um, but I'm going to have to do what I got to do. And y'all are too because, man, Monday morning is going to be such a horrible time. <laughs> we're going to be, bro, I do not want to go to work tomorrow at all. <laughs> ah, man, just, jeez. As a Raven fan, this was hard to swallow. Pause. Super pause. <laughs> Um, this pill was really hard to take it's simply because it's like, bruh, shot ourselves in the foot. Now we got back to back AFC North games, Browns and Steelers. And tell you the truth, to keep up in the AFC, much less in the AFC North, we got to win both. There is no grace period. At least if we won this game, we could have split those two games and still been what? Four and one. Now, we got to win those two games. We have to. We're two and one. We lose two of them, we're two and three. We win one, we're only three and two. I don't think that's going to get it done. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section. Do you guys think that this injury thing is getting to be almost um, unfixable? And do you guys think that there's a term or a way that we could fix it maybe in the future? And also, do you think that Lamar Jackson is taking too much of the heat for this game? Let me know down in the comment section, please, because I really want to know. And that's the episode of the Wonder King Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Leave a comment. You know I love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the Wonder King Show's Patreon. Yes, three tiers of absolute content goodness ready for your consumption, so give it a look. Let me know what you think. And at the bottom of the screen is a QR code. If you just want to help out the channel, donate, help with equipment, help with computers, stuff like that, for better content, that's what that QR code's for. It's to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonder Can Show. Super, super easy. But once again, this is The Wonder Can Show. This show is Nitro signing off, and as always, 
You know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Hmm. Yerp. <laughs>